Well, folks, we're back. It is truly amazing how quickly time flies in our industry. And once again, we have another wine club release coming up for August. Uh, and we have six wines that we're going to talk about today. Uh, Seth, I am very excited about this wine club release. It's been one of the packages that I have been putting together for a while now, playing around. Uh, about two months ago, it had four other wines in it, but those just weren't quite ready yet, so we switched it up, and mm -hmm. uh, it is part of the game of Tetris that we play here <laughs> when putting things together. Um, so we're going to start off with our uh, brand new 2020 Viognier. Uh, for those folks who have been at the winery uh, since July 1st, uh, you may have tasted it as it is uh, on the uh, Benoni's, or sorry, the Catherine's flight right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, uh, taste the Viognier, and let Seth lead us through the explanation. Um, so here we go. So uh, the first thing to, to notice is this is a not Virginia Viognier. Um, through what, whatever, through the stars alignment, uh, I've never really found a consistent quality source of DNA grapes in Virginia. Uh, so that's why we source our, our DNA grapes from Washington State. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, it's, it's Virginia signature grape. Why don't you focus on it more? Um, I, and it's just lack of availability for me, for the range to get high quality DNA grapes consistently. So we go to the West Coast, so it is a, a very different uh, style of wine than you'll see in most Virginia DNAs. Um, it has a little bit more color than most Virginia beanies I, I like to see. Uh, it's still kind of light and pale and, you know, straw. Uh, not too intense, but definitely, I think, a little bit darker than some beanies you find here in Virginia. Uh, on the nose, you get kind of toasted almonds, a little bit of lime and citrus to it. It's quite nice. Uh, very friendly and inviting wine. Great summertime wine. So those toasted almonds are really coming out to me. They're just really... Oh man, let's keep smelling this. And it gives a little bit of a uh, kind of creaminess on the mid palate, uh, I think, and that's what the, the almond uh, smell is on the nose. The the palate is, is kind of dominated by the acid, I think, but I think really plays to being a strength because a Viognier as a varietal, uh, one of its big criticisms is the lack of acid. Uh, Viognier's that don't have much acid, they tend to be flabby and fall apart, and it definitely loses its acid as it gets right. So having this one be bright and tight like this, I think is a really good showing of the varietal and what, we, what we've done with it for this vintage show. Yeah, I'm getting a, a very, um, it's a crisp uh, feeling as well, uh, which I am not used to with Viognier's. Mm -hmm. Viognier's tend to uh, be a little bit more full body with that floral uh, aroma that comes off of it. Yep. And this, you are not getting any of those floral aromas. So it is very unique and different compared to what we've had here in the past, um, the 2018 that we just uh, finished selling about a month ago. So it's a very nice change. Uh, and if you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend that you come by and give it a try. 